Hey, uh, news from Google. Google has made a big privacy announcement on their blog, sort of. They said, as I'll display for you here if you're reading along with me, today we're announcing a variety of new protections that will help keep Gmail users even safer. Since 2012, we've warned Gmail users when we suspect they've been targeted by state-sponsored attackers. These warnings are rare, going on to say, today we're launching a new full-page warning with instructions about how these users can stay safe. These, they may see these new warnings instead of or in addition to the existing ones. So the questions that have come up are, number one, when they say government-backed surveillance, which government do they mean? Is it the federal government or state or local? Unclear. They may not even know. Also, um, the other question is, what do they mean by they are starting this? Because as they mentioned, since 2012, there was this warning that would come up at the top of your Gmail account saying you may be targeted, blah, 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 blah. Now it's going to be a full page warning. So this is not really a new initiative, Lewis. Some people saying it's really PR. Yeah, the warning now is full screen instead of at the top of your screen. But essentially, the warning is the same. Yes, but I was unaware that they had this procedure. Yeah. Before all of this came out. Maybe it is just PR, but it's good PR. Meanwhile, new research has revealed from the ACLU that Google has been asked nine times over the last three or so years to help unlock Android phones for investigations. They were reportedly all drug related cases. And the ACLU says, while well, they know that they were asked nine times, they don't know what the outcome was. In other words, what did how did Google respond to those nine requests? Uh, we use Gmail for our email system here at The David Pakman Show. I have said this before and I'll say it again. I just assume that any email I sent could be read by the government. And I, I sort of think to myself, uh, not if I don't have anything to hide, what do I care? That's not my view. But my view is uh, the worst that they can really figure out is the sort of discussions with guests and business deals that mm -hmm. we're doing. And, and that's, uh, you know, that, that's what the, they would uncover. They might be aware of what questions you'll be asking Gordon Kling and Schmidt yeah. ahead of an interview. Yes. And that could conceivably be relayed to him in advance of the interview. All right, send me your thoughts on this. I'm on Twitter at D. Pacman. Lewis is on Twitter at Lewis Motomedy. Is this a substantial move by Google, or is this just a PR attempt to restate what they've already been doing since 2012? Warby Parker is offering a free five-day home try-on to give you the opportunity to check out their glasses. I personally wear Warby Parker glasses when I'm not wearing my contact lenses. And I also started with one of these free at-home try-ons of five pairs of glasses. You can get your free home try-on and support The David Pakman Show at warbyparkertrial.com slash TDPS. I don't really like going into glasses stores and trying on glasses while the salesperson sort of hovers over me. And I like more than 30 seconds to actually figure out whether I like the glasses. So with the Warby Parker home try-on, I was able to pick five pairs that I liked put them on in the comfort of my own home, pick the one I like the most, and then Warby Parker put my prescription lenses in there for me. A lot of people don't know that the eyeglass industry is controlled by just a few big corporations that keep prices very high, like $300 for prescription glasses high, which is just insane. Warby Parker glasses start at $95. That's what mine cost. And for every pair of glasses sold, Warby Parker distributes a pair of glasses to someone in need. You can try five pairs and see what you like. Check out the at-home trial and support our show by going to warbyparker.com slash TDPS. It costs nothing.